Hi, uh, yeah, hello, uh, like everyone. So, uh, welcome to my talk. It's posing a congestion attack on emerging uh, connected vehicle based uh, uh, signal, uh, traffic signal control. So, uh, like uh, 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 Xiaofeng was saying, so I'm Xiaofeng, a PhD student from University of Michigan, and this is a joint work with Yu uh, Chen Ying, Yi uh, Hengfeng, my uh, PhD advisor, Professor Molly Mao, and, uh, and also Professor uh, so Henry Liu. So, we are all uh, researchers from University of uh, Michigan. So, uh, so first of all, let's give some uh, some background. So, uh, this uh, CV technology or this connected uh, vehicle technology is designed to wirelessly connect vehicles and also the uh, infrastructure. So, they give this uh, device called an OBU or onboard unit to the vehicle, and then give this RSU or this real side uh, unit to the uh, to, to the uh, infrastructure side devices. And the goal is to leverage this increased uh, connectivity to dramatically improve like mobility or safety and uh, environmental impact and also this public uh, agency uh, operations. So such technology has made uh, very significant uh, advances very recently and is, is, uh, and is uh, expected to very soon transform the uh, transportation systems today. So for example, in the September in 2016, the US DOT or the United States Department of Transportation so has launched the CV pilot um, 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 the program uh, as a national effort to deploy, test, and also operationalize the CV-based transportation systems. And here, uh, so currently, uh, such systems has been, uh, uh, so it's under uh, deployment in three sites, like uh, it's including New York City, Wyoming, and also Tampa. So obviously, uh, this technology is very promising in its functionality, but uh, uh, such dramatically uh, increased connectivity may also open new doors for attackers. So, uh, so this is highly important to understand the potential security of vulnerabilities and also these new security challenges in such systems. And such, un uh, such un uh, understanding is needed to ensure the security and also the privacy, uh, also the safety for the vehicles like, uh, or the infrastructure uh, uh, of the transportation and also other, um, like, uh, so basically all the road players like drivers and also the pedestrians. And also we need to perform this study as soon as possible so that uh, these security problems uh, can be proactively addressed before the nationwide deployment. So uh, to meet this very need, so in our work, we performed the first security analysis of the CV-based transportation systems. And here our target is this uh, so-called intelligent uh, traffic signal system, or ISIC. So in this uh, system, uh, this uh, real-time uh, CV data, or this um, uh, driving data from the vehicles are sent to the, uh, to the ISIC system for more uh, optimized uh, signal control decisions. And uh, so here in our analysis, we are targeting this uh, US DOT sponsored design and, and uh, the uh, implementation, and uh, which has been tested uh, on real roads in the Anthem and also Palo Alto. And uh, in this testing, it, uh, this system has shown very high, like a 26.6 reduction in the total vehicle data in one intersection. And thus, uh, this system is currently under deployment in uh, New York City and also Tampa. So uh, in our analysis, our thermal is that so basically these vehicle owners can be malicious. They will deliberately control the OBUs or the onboard unit to, spoof the, uh, to send spoof data to the uh, ASIC system in order to influence the signal control. And here we assume the OBU can be compromised like physically or wirelessly or by malware uh, as uh, demonstrated by previous work. So here, uh, note that we only s uh, assume that the attacker can spoof the data, like the, in the C messages, for example, the location or the speed, instead of spoofing the identity uh, because of the USDOT's uh, vehicle certificate uh, system. Okay, this is the setting. And uh, with uh, this uh, third model, our attack goal here, as so the very first work, we target the attack of creating traffic congestion. So uh, more formally defined, this is, uh, so the goal is to increase the total delay of vehicles in the, in, in the intersection, which directly subverts the design goal of the ASIC system. And here, uh, this attack can damage both the city functions uh, or uh, the operations, and also individuals, if you think about the with the few and time. And this is actually one form of the denial service attack or DOS attack, and we, uh, and we think this attack can be uh, incentivized both politically or financially, just like this DOS uh, uh, attack onto the internet. So uh, with this attack goal and this threat model in mind, so what do we do is, uh, uh, so here I'll give an overview of the, uh, of the approach used in our analysis. So in, in essence, uh, this is a dynamic analysis. So what we do is that we will use a set of input, which are those uh, traffic snapshots from these traffic simulators. 
And here, uh, instead of like trying this uh, uh, different attack options blindly, so we will first analyze the code. So here, uh, what we do is that we, ana we, we, we analyze the data flow of the attack input, and then basically we will conclude a set of these different um, data spoofing strategies. And then with this in mind, we will try um, basically all the different options for the spoofing, and then calculate the, the totally uh, increased uh, uh, um, vehicle delay in one intersection. And then after this step, uh, so we will find out the spoofing options with the highest delay increase. And then uh, we will analyze the cost and then conclude a set of this congestion creation uh, vulnerabilities. And then uh, with this, model, uh, with this uh, vulnerabilities, we will then concrete this, uh, uh, so, we, so we will then construct this concrete exploits. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me. So one challenge here is how to incorporate this real-time attack uh, requirement. So basically, for example, the attack decision time needs to be under four seconds uh, in order to, to uh, uh, influence the signal control decision in the real time. And then we will conclude a set, uh, a set of uh, exploits uh, from this step. And uh, just to give a high-level summary of the results, so here we are able to find two uh, different data spoofing strategies, and for each of them, we are able to find one distinct type of um, uh, this congestion creation uh, vulnerabilities. So we named the first one the curse of the transition period, and the, and the second one uh, last vehicle uh, advantage. So next, we'll, I'll go into details about how uh, 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 this vulnerability works. Uh, so f the first one is, um, so to, to understand this vulnerability, so first of all, I'll introduce a little bit of the, gap, uh, of the background of the I6 system. So basically here, there are two operational, uh, two operation modes based on the PR or penetration rate of the CV technology. So basically the percentage of the vehicles equipped, uh, so with the CV technology in one intersection or equipped uh, vehicles. Uh, so here, if the PR is over 95%, uh, it is considered a full deployment period in the ASIC system, and the system basically directly runs an optimal signal planning algorithm here. And then if it's uh, lower than 95%, it is considered a transition period. And, and here, basically, the optimal algorithm becomes very ineffective, such this system uses an unequipped vehicle estimation algorithm as a pre-processing step of the system, uh, so before going into the optimal uh, 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 algorithm. So here, uh, here uh, basically what we find is that this uh, unequipped uh, vehicle estimation part has some problem. And more specifically, this Q, uh, so it has a Q estimation part. It's highly vulnerable. So to understand that, this is, see, see this is a road, and there are three vehicles there. Um, I was waiting for the, uh, for the red light. And the first two are this uh, equipped, uh, this, uh, 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 vehicle, uh, 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 unequipped uh, vehicles. And the last one is equipped uh, vehicles. So the algorithm will, will, will use this last stopped equipped uh, vehicle to deduce the Q length. So for example, here is, is three. So this works pretty well in practice, uh, because if you think about this, so how we, uh, so, so how we are waiting in line for queues, so basically all the vehicles will almost always line up like this, like one by one, very closely to each other in distance. But if we think about this from the attacker's perspective, the, the attacker can basically say, oh, so I'm actually at the end of the line, and, I, and, and, I, and, I, and I'm actually stopped here. So this basically tricks the I6 system to think, oh, this, uh, this traffic lane is actually full of vehicles. And then uh, what this means is that data from even one single attack vehicle can add a queue with tens of these ghost uh, vehicles uh, so onto the land, and uh, this works very effective. It can cause the total delay uh, in one intersection to be increased by uh, 20 to 50 percent, sometimes even over 70 percent. So if we look back about this problem, this, so first of all, this is a, a very urgent problem because this transition period is actually unavoidable for any technology. And in this particular case, it can be very long. It's like uh, around 25 to 30 years, as, as, uh, as estimated by the US uh, on DOT. And also, uh, it, so if we think about this, uh, this is actually the first thing we need to resolve if we want this ISIC system to be deployed in, in practice in the first place. And then if we think, what's the fundamental cost? Here, uh, so what we are lacking is actually a sufficiently robust signal control algorithm specifically for the transition period. It's because here, when it, in the transition period, when the PR is low or the penetration rate, uh, the penetration rate is low, so actually so any of this uh, signal control algorithm working for this, uh, for this period is actually inherent more sensitive to data spoofing. Which makes it so, which makes it actually fundamentally more challenging to ensure the, the robustness of this signal control in this period. And uh, so, to solve this problem, so we believe uh, some knowledge from both the uh, tradition, uh, the transportation field, and also the, sec uh, the security field are needed to solve this problem. 
So now we know that uh, physically the, the transition period has some problem, uh, it's vulnerable. So does that mean that the full deployment period is actually secure? The answer is actually no, because we further find some other vulnerabilities in the optimal algorithm part. So here is basically brings us to this second vulnerability called last vehicle advantage. Uh, and here, uh, w what we find is that the latest arriving vehicle can determine the signal plan. So for example, as to give example, so this is a road, uh, this is a land, and, and, and there are two vehicles uh, trying to go through this green light. So the I system here uh, will basically assign the length of the green light to be just able to release both of these vehicles uh, so through the intersection. So then what we find is that if there are more vehicles coming after this, uh, so these two vehicles, the, so the ASIC system will, will keep extending this, this green light. So even when actually giving up this last, uh, this very late arriving vehicle is, is actually more optimal for the total vehicle on the other in one intersection. So, so because of this, the attacker can just move to arrive as late uh, as possible to, to dramatically increase the green light lens of, uh, so, so for, for this traffic lens, and basically this will directly translate to a much uh, improved delay of the queuing vehicles in other directions. So like I said earlier, this algorithm should be optimal. So why this is like, happening? Uh, so why uh, the, the more optimal uh, uh, the traffic control decision is not chosen here? So we find out that fundamentally this is because of the trade-off between security and deployability because this, uh, uh, so, so for this uh, uh, optimal algorithm to fully run, to be able to find the optimal solution, it's actually very time consuming. It will take like around 45 uh, seconds uh, on, the, on, on the RSU. But uh, when this IC system is deployed in practice, it actually should so require the traffic control decision time to be under three seconds. So that's why these engineers, or, or these designers of the, this IC system, so actually choose a suboptimal configuration of this algorithm, which, which basically cut off the computation like, like in between in order to meet the traffic uh, control decision deadline. But uh, very unfortunately, this suboptimal config configuration unexpectedly exposed this last vehicle advantage, which can actually let the attacker to deterministically trigger this corner case scenario of this algorithm uh, just, uh, 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 and then cause some damage to the traffic control. So next, I will show some, uh, some attack video demos. And then, uh, let's, so let's really see what's happening here. So basically here, this is a, a, a commercial grade traffic simulator called vSIM. Uh, and, uh, and, and here, this is the intersection, so near the University of Michigan campus, and we are using its real world layout and traffic signal configuration in this demo. And, and here are these blue cars, if you, if you look at these cars, the blue cars are equipped uh, with the connected vehicles, and the red cars are not, so this is the transition period. And here in this intersection, we run the ASIC uh, 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 system. Uh, so we were and, and then here, to be able to maximize the realism of our, our uh, 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 experiments, we actually videotaped the real world traffic flow in this intersection for one hour, and then manually counted the passing of, of vehicles as, a simulator, uh, as input to the simulation uh, model. And then here, like I said earlier, this attack com comes from, even, uh, from only one single malicious vehicle parking nearby. Uh, and for example, here we, we assume it's, uh, 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 it's, it's parking in this gas station. And uh, uh, it, we only assume that it used the, 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 the uh, you will spoof the uh, data uh, in the message instead of this identity. So let's see what, uh, what will happen. So, so, so we could here on the left, this is the, uh, uh, the, si the situation without attack and on the, on the right is with attack. And then this is beginning, so, so everything was very fine. And then after attacking for around 30 minutes, so what you can see here is that on the, on the left side is, is totally normal. But on the right side, there's uh, this massive congestion being, being like happening uh, uh, on actually three lands here. So if we take a very close look at, uh, so, uh, uh, take a very close look at, at what's happening here, so basically the left lens spill over and basically blocks the who the through lens. And this is happening for both the, 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 uh, the eastbound uh, uh, the approach and also the, uh, uh, the northbound approach. And, and this situation is actually one of the worst case uh, scenario in the traffic control uh, uh, decisions. And, and then in this period, the travel time is, is actually over uh, six times higher for half of the vehicles and, and, and even uh, over 14 times higher for 22% of the vehicles. So coming back, uh, so now we know that this attack is kind of very severe. So how can we defend against it? So first of all, like I said earlier, we need a robust algorithm design specific for the transition period. 
And also for the second vulnerability, last vehicle advantage. So one idea is that how so so how about we speed up the computation of the control algorithm to avoid choosing this suboptimal configuration? And also some ideas, uh, so including this offload the computation to a nearby workstation or cloud. And uh, besides these two uh, solution directions, uh, one more general. Uh, uh, a defense direction is to design this data spoofing detection using infrastructure controlled sensors. For example, if we can install cameras in the intersection, so we can use this uh, camera images to cross check the validity of the driving data from the OBUs. So to conclude, so in this work, we perform the first security analysis of a CV based transportation system, ISIC, and we are able to discover new vulnerabilities and analyze the cause, and then being able, basically we find that the current control algorithm design and configuration are highly vulnerable and we construct these ploys and also propose defense directions. And as the very first work in this direction, we hope that this work can inspire follow-up studies, uh, for example, other attack goals besides causing congestion, other types of CV systems, because there are uh, more than 60 of them uh, open sourced by the US DOT, and also uh, uh, developing these defense solutions. And we have uh, already reported this vulnerability and also get a confirmation from the US DOT CV pilot program, program office and also two sites that are currently deploying this ISIC system, basically New York and Tampa. So uh, for more information, please visit our, our website. And this basically concludes my talk and, uh, I, I'm, I'll, I'll, uh, and I'll be happy to take questions. John Wei Lin from Toyota Info Technology Center. So very interesting talk. So just have one question. So when you mentioned suboptima configuration, does this optima means performance or security? Uh, meaning performance. Uh, because in, okay, means yeah. traffic from performance. Yes, exactly. So 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 basically optimal in in reducing the total of vehicle delay time in one intersection. Yeah. But sometimes suboptima solution may be more robust against attack. Right? They are not so sensitive. So can you um, explain more? Or just in your simulation, you observe that? Yes, yes, okay. yes. So in this case, yeah, definitely, uh, if we think about uh, uh, what, I, what I have been showing in the uh, experiments here, so basically they actually trade in security f uh, for their deployability in this case. Uh, but yeah, I do agree. In some cases, it could be more robust. OK, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Three-part question, I'll try to say them all together and so you can respond all at once. Uh, first, you mentioned you're using the SCMS. Can you tell us what iteration of what SCMS, there are multiples, uh, what version of iSIG and does it use the MITS implementation from University of Arizona? And finally, it said, your bottom statement says confirmed from USDOT and the three CV pilot sites. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what that response or that confirmation refers to? Sure, sure, yeah, those are three different uh, the questions. So first of all, about the SCMS. So uh, here we are not a particular testing any uh, uh, a particular version of the, uh, uh, the SCMS system. We just assume that the SCMS uh, system will, will work correctly and, and also, uh, and also uh, security. And also for the second question, uh, for the yeah, for the SCMS uh, system, we are using the, uh, the, uh, the version from University of Arizona. Uh, and uh, I've been talking to the uh, uh, the researchers in in the uh, Tampa CV site, and 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 they are saying that they are basically deploying the system uh, nearly as is uh, in the in the Tampa site. Uh, and for the third question, uh, oh oh yeah, what's what's the confirmation uh, from the pilot site? So at this point, uh, the manager. The the pro the the um, program officer told us that so first of all they will do their best to solve their vulnerabilities so basically the standard thing, and and then uh, uh, I will be talking about uh, I'll, I'll I'll be having a call with one of the officers I guess next week so to discuss this question a little further. Uh, I so add do do you not add um, okay yeah uh, we can we can definitely talk uh, about this like, offline. Uh, actually, from the program, uh, so, so, uh, the the uh, program officer of the CV pilot um, program, uh, so so get confirmation, uh, email confirmation. So, so from saying that, okay, so first they got, uh, so what we are saying, and and they are they are evaluating internally about their system, about this vulnerability, and and, and then next week, uh, I, I think it's 
is either next week or the week after next week, I'll be having a call with, with uh, so, so one of the researchers in the, in the US uh, DOT and be able to discuss this issue uh, further. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 Thanks for the uh, clarification. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, the clarification, and uh, we can definitely talk more the offline. <laughs> <laughs>